We are headed into spring break now. A lot of people getting an early start, maybe heading out today. So big crowds are expected this morning at PDX with vacation travel expected to be up 15% this year. Yeah, if you're headed somewhere fun, now's a good time to double check your purse or backpack. Fox 12's Kendra Kent joins us live to show us why. Kendra, good morning. Hey, good morning. Yes, and it is busy here. So I'm sure that the bins are filling up with water bottles and sunscreen right now, people forgetting to take things out of their carry-on. So if you've ever been curious about the kind of stuff that the TSA collects on the regular, you'll want to watch this. It's all very interesting, of course. But again, it's also a really good reminder during busy times like this when efficiency is really appreciated by all. Some 25,000 people will be in and out of here today. So you'll see we have an array of different items. Take a look at this spread. These are just a fraction of the items the TSA confiscated from travelers this month here at PDX. I bet you expected this and this and this. But what about this? That is a stun gun. That's a oh. taser. The TSA says a lot more passengers are carrying tasers these days, something people must put into a checked bag or part with at security. Same goes for everything else here on the table. Yep, this cast iron skillet could double as a weapon. How are you today? Good, how are you? We got this exclusive access from the TSA just in time for spring break travel, offering an interesting peek beyond the mundane, innocent items we all sometimes forget to take out of our bags into what were these passengers thinking? Something that we found here over the last few weeks. Large knives, power tools. And this has the flint starter associated with it. Even a fire starter. I think one of the strangest things that I've seen is having I mean, we have hatchets come through where you're like, why are you traveling with a hatchet? And they had it casually inside their purse. Officer Kylan Hewart is a supervising officer with the TSA here at PDX. She and the TSA's Oregon Security Director, Kathleen McDonald, have just about seen it all. Honestly, I've seen things like um, vials of blood that were unmarked in people's bags. Um, it's like, if you can imagine it, people have brought it. <laughs> but sometimes newer trends start to really stand out, like more people bringing guns through security. The TSA says it's a growing problem nationally and in Oregon as well. Last year, TSA officers detected more than 100 guns in carry-on bags at Oregon airports, up 24 percent from 2019 with the vast majority of the firearms found right here at PDX. So far this year, passengers have attempted to bring 12 guns through security in Portland, at least nine of them loaded. In those instances, the TSA calls police, who then take over the case. Whether it's a gun, a knife, or a tool, the good news is that there's rarely ill intent, says McDonald. I think one of the most common errors when people come through the security checkpoint is mostly forgetting what's in their bag or not taking the time to look ahead of time at what is prohibited and permitted through the security checkpoint. What's more alarming is much rarer. Um, we have seen, you know, what we might call artful concealment. Check out this gun hidden inside a raw chicken this past fall at an airport in Florida. We're going to ask you some more probing questions to get to know the why behind the what. And depending on the nature of the item itself, we might actually have to escalate to the law enforcement, local law enforcement to take over. Breaking the law could leave you with fines or more serious charges. But for most travelers, it's the little things more likely to slow down the lines. Right now it's spring break and sunscreen is an item that comes through a lot during this time of year. A reminder, double checking your bag before your flight could save you a hassle, some cash or grandpa's special knife. And here's one more tip that I actually just learned myself when doing this story with the TSA. So if you're not sure whether or not your item can go through, you can go to their website or you can download their app. And there you can actually search, use a search tool and search for whatever you have. And then it'll immediately tell you whether you can bring it through or not. Reporting live at PDX, Kendra Kent, Fox 12 Oregon. Boy, we